A prayer a day for Lent. Holy Week Prayer, Holy Tuesday. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, whose word cannot be broken, with Jerusalem we are stunned this holy week. Like a city overcome with sudden devastation, we are swept up in the confusion and desolation, wondering what is happening. Liturgy, scripture, and song Immerse us in the river that flows to betrayal and the cross. The gospel we have tried to make manageable has overturned our tables of control. The sufferings of Jesus that we try to avoid engulf us. The fruitless fig tree withers before the majesty of one whose mission is relentless and uncompromised. Help us with all of your church to watch and pray to behold anew the unfolding scandal and the ragged good news of salvation. Behold with mercy the agonies of the world, where the suffering of Jesus is being completed, both then and now. Let the Via Dolorosa for us be both acts of devotion and worship and of compassion and justice, so that Christ's abundant sufferings become the world's abundant consolations. O gracious Master, infuse in our hearts the spotless light of your divine wisdom and open the eyes of our mind that we may understand the teachings of your gospel. Instill in us also the fear of your blessed commandments so that having curbed all carnal desires we may lead a spiritual life, both thinking and doing everything to please you. For you, O Christ, our God, are the enlightenment of our souls and bodies, and to you we render glory, together with your Eternal Father and with your all-holy, life-creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord God, the message of the cross is difficult to take. How can death give way to life? How can weakness be strength? Yet your word says that Jesus, being God, took on human flesh and suffered the worst kind of death. How can this be? This message is indeed difficult to take. But your foolishness is wiser than our wisdom. Your weakness is greater than our strength. Help us to know that none of us can boast before you. It is only in Christ Jesus that we can boast. In his name, we ask you to help our unbelief, that we may love you and walk in the way Jesus taught us. In his name, amen. Dear Lord Jesus, By your passion and resurrection, you brought life to the world. But the glory of the resurrection came only after the sufferings of the passion. You laid down your life willingly and gave up everything for us. Your body was broken and fastened to a cross. Your clothing became the prize of soldiers. Your blood ebbed slowly but surely away and your mother was entrusted to the beloved disciple. Stretched out on the cross, deprived of all earthly possessions and human aid, you cried out to your father that the end had come. You had accomplished the work given you, and you committed into his hands, as a perfect gift, the little life that remained to you. Lord, teach me to accept all afflictions after the example you have given. Let me place my death in yours and my weakness in your abandonment. Take hold of me with your love. 
that same foolish love that knew no limit, and let me offer myself to the Father with you, so that I may rise with you to eternal life. Dear Lord, we are now in the holy season of Lent. We begin to realize anew that these are the days of salvation, these are the acceptable days. We know that we are all sinners. We know that in many things we have all offended your infinite majesty. We know that sin destroys your life in us as a drought withers the leaves and chokes the life from the land, leaving an arid, dusty desert. Help us now, Lord, in our feeble attempts to make up for past sin. Bless our efforts with a rich blessing of your grace. Make us realize ever more our need of penance and of mortification. Help us to see, in our ordinary difficulties and duties, in the trials and temptations of every day, the best opportunity of making up for past infidelities. Every day we are so often reminded in field and wood in sky and stream, of your own boundless generosity to us. Help us to realize that you are never outdone in generosity, and that the least thing we do for you will be rewarded, full measure, pressed down, shaken together, and flowing over. Then we shall see, in our own souls, how the desert can blossom, and the dry and wasted land can bring forth the rich, useful fruit that was expected of it from the beginning. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, you have given the human race, Jesus Christ, our Savior, as a model of humility. He fulfilled your will by becoming man and giving his life on the cross. Help us to bear witness to you, by following his example of suffering, and make us worthy to share in his resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. God, Heavenly Father, look upon me and hear my prayer during this holy season of Lent. By the good works you inspire, help me to discipline my body and to be renewed in spirit. Without you, I can do nothing. By your Spirit, help me to know what is right, and to be eager in doing your will. Teach me to find new life through penance. Keep me from sin, and help me live by your commandment of love. God of love, bring me back to you. Send your Spirit to make me strong in faith, and active in good works. May my acts of penance bring me your forgiveness, open my heart to your love, and prepare me for the coming feast of the resurrection of Jesus. Lord, during this Lenten season, nourish me with your word of life, and make me one with you in love and prayer. Fill my heart with your love, and keep me faithful to the gospel of Christ. Give me the grace to rise above my human weakness. Give me new life by your sacrament, especially the Mass. Father, our source of life, I reach out with joy to grasp your hand. Let me walk more readily in your ways. Guide me in your gentle mercy, for left to myself I cannot do your will. Father of love, source of all blessings, Help me to pass from my old life of sin to the new life of grace. Prepare me for the glory of your kingdom. I ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever. Amen. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, during the holy season of Lent, you call us to a closer union with yourself. Help me to prepare to celebrate the Paschal Mystery with mind and heart renewed. 
Give me a spirit of loving reverence for you, our Father, and of willing service to my neighbor. As I recall the great events that gave us new life in Christ, bring the image of your Son to perfection within my soul. This great season of grace is your gift to your family to renew us in spirit. Give me strength to purify my heart, to control my desires, and so to serve you in freedom. Teach me how to live in this passing world with my heart set on the world that will never end. I ask for the grace to master my sinfulness and conquer my pride. I want to show to those in need your goodness to me by being kind to all. Through my observance of Lent, help me to correct my faults and raise my mind to you, and thus grow in holiness, that I may deserve the reward of everlasting life. In your mercy, grant me this special favor. State your intentions here. The days of the life-giving death and glorious resurrection of Jesus Christ, your Son, are approaching. This is the hour when He triumphed over Satan's pride, the time when we celebrate the great event of our redemption. The suffering and death of your Son brought life to the whole world, moving our hearts to praise your glory. The power of the cross reveals your judgment on this world and the kingship of Christ crucified. Father, Through his love for us and through his sufferings, death and resurrection, may I gain eternal life with you in heaven. Almighty and everlasting God, you have given the human race Jesus Christ our Savior as a model of humility. He fulfilled your will by becoming man and giving his life on the cross. Help us to bear witness to you by following his example of suffering and make us worthy to share in his resurrection. Through him, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, now and ever. Amen. Prayer Before Crucifix Behold, O good and sweetest Jesus, I cast myself upon my knees in thy sight, and with the most fervent desire of my soul, I pray and beseech thee to impress upon my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope and charity, with true repentance for my sins, and a most firm desire of amendment. Whilst with deep affection and grief of soul, I consider within myself and mentally contemplate thy five most precious wounds, having before mine eyes that which David, the prophet, long ago spoke in thine own person concerning thee, my Jesus. They have pierced my hands and my feet. They have numbered all my bones. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, sitteth at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Stations of the Cross, the Sacred Passion of Jesus Christ In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O my God, I am heartfully sorry for having offended Thee, and I detest all my sins because of Thy just punishment, but most of all, because I have offended Thee, my God, who is all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of Thy grace, to sin no more, and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Jesus, our adorable Saviour, we now contemplate your sacred passion. Help us to understand that the sufferings of our life are the continuation of your passion. We ask for strength of our souls to go through our passion in the spirit with which you went through yours. Amen. First Station Jesus is Condemned to Death We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because of your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Leaving the house of Caiaphas, where he had been blasphemed, and the house of Herod, where he had been mocked, Jesus is dragged before Pilate, his back torn with scourges, his head crowned with thorns, and he, who on the last day will judge the living and the dead, is himself condemned to a disgraceful death. It was for us that you did suffer, 
O blessed Jesus, it was for our sins that you were condemned to die. O grant that we may detest our sins from the bottom of our hearts, and obtain your mercy and pardon by repentance. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Second Station Jesus is Laden with a Cross We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because of your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A heavy cross is laid upon the bruised shoulders of Jesus. He receives it with meekness and with a sense of commitment, for it is the instrument with which he is to redeem the world and to accomplish the mission for which his heavenly Father has sent him. O Jesus, grant us, by virtue of your cross, to embrace with meekness and cheerful submission the difficulties of our life, and to be ever ready to take up our cross and follow you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Third Station, Jesus Falls for the First Time We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because of your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Bow down under the weight of the cross, Jesus slowly sets forth on the way to Calvary, amidst the mockeries and insults of the crowd. His agony in the garden has exhausted his body. He is lacerated with blows and wounds. His strength fails him. He falls to the ground under his cross. O Jesus, who for our sins did bear the heavy burden of the cross, and did fall under its weight, may the thoughts of your suffering make us watchful of ourselves, and save us from any grievous fall into sin. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Fourth Station Jesus Meets His Blessed Mother We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because of your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Still burdened with his cross, and wounded yet more by his fall, Jesus proceeds on his way. He is met by his loving mother. What a meeting must have that been! What a sword of anguish must have pierced the mother's heart! What must have been the compassion of that son for his holy mother? O Jesus, by the compassion which you did feel for your mother, have compassion on us, and give us a share in her intercession. O Mary, most afflicted mother, intercede for us that, through the sufferings of your son, we may be delivered from eternal death. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Fifth Station Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because of your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. As the strength of Jesus fails and is unable to proceed, the executioners seize and compel Simon of Cyrene to carry his cross. The grace of that cross changes the Cyrenian's heart, and from the compulsory task, it becomes a privilege and joy. O Lord Jesus, May it be our privilege to bear our cross. May we glory in nothing else. By the cross, may the world be crucified unto us, and we unto the world. May we never shrink from suffering, but rather rejoice if we should be counted worthy to suffer for your name's sake. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Sixth Station Veronica Wipes the Face of Jesus We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because of your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. As Jesus proceeds along the way, covered with a sweat of blood, a woman, moved with compassion, makes her way through the crowd and wipes his face with a handkerchief. As a reward for her piety, the impression of his sacred countenance is miraculously imprinted upon the handkerchief. O oh, Jesus, May the contemplation of your sufferings move us with deep compassion. Make us hate our sins and kindle in our hearts more fervent love for you. May your image be graven on our minds until we are transformed into your likeness. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Seventh Station Jesus Falls Beneath His Cross the Second Time We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because of your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The pain of his wounds and the loss of blood increasing at every step of his way weakens him, and Jesus falls to the ground for the second time. O Jesus, who did fall a second time beneath the load of our sins and of your suffering for our sins, how often have we grieved you by our repeated falls into sin? O oh, may we rather die than ever offend you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. A Station Jesus Consoles the Women of Jerusalem We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because of your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. At the sight of the sufferings of Jesus, some holy women in the crowd were so touched with sympathy that they openly bewailed and lamented for him. Jesus, knowing the things that would befall Jerusalem, because of its rejection of him, turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep for yourselves and for your children. O Jesus, we mourn and will always mourn for you and for ourselves, for your sufferings and for our sins which caused them. O teach us to mourn, so that we may repent and be saved from the dreadful end to those who reject or neglect you, their God and their all. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Ninth Station Jesus Falls Beneath His Cross the Third Time We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because of your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Jesus has almost arrived at the summit of Calvary, but before he reaches the spot where he is to be crucified, his strength again fails him, and he falls the third time. O Jesus, we entreat you by the merit of this your third and most painful fall, to pardon our frequent relapses and our long continuance in sin. May the thought of your sufferings make us hate our sins more and more. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us.
Tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because of your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Jesus at last arrives at Golgotha, and they prepare to crucify him. They strip him of his garments and mock him. O Jesus, strip us of all false esteem, conceit and pride, and make us humble like you in this life, so that we share your glory with you in the life to come. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Eleventh Station Jesus is Nailed to the Cross We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because of your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The cross is laid upon the ground, and Jesus is stretched upon his bed of death. With divine dignity and forgiveness, he lets himself be nailed to the cross. The blows are struck, the blood gushes forth. O Jesus, nailed to the cross, fasten our hearts to the cross so that we may be united with you, until we yield up our souls to you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Twelfth Station Jesus Dies on the Cross We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because of your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. For three hours, Jesus has hung upon his pierced hands. His blood has run in streams down his body and onto the ground. In the midst of excruciating suffering, he has pardoned his murderers, given heaven to the good thief, and committed his blessed mother to his beloved disciples' care. His mission of love has been accomplished. He bows his head and gives up his spirit to God. O Jesus, we devoutly embrace your saving cross, on which you died so that we may have eternal life. 
we hail your cross and lovingly accept our own. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Thirteenth Station Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because of your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The multitudes have left the hill of Calvary. There is no one except the beloved disciple of Jesus and the holy women with Mary, the mother of Jesus. Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus take down the body of Jesus from the cross and place him in the arms of his afflicted mother. O Mary, mother of Jesus, your grief was so great, being a helpless witness to the savage way your son was put to death. By his death and resurrection, we have become your children in Jesus. Help us by your intercession to be like your son Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Fourteenth Station. Jesus is laid in the Holy Sepulchre. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because of your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The disciples take the body of her dear beloved son Jesus from his mother and place it in the tomb. The tomb is closed, and in it the lifeless body remains until the hour of its glorious resurrection. Lord, your suffering is over. You have triumphed, though in the eyes of men you may seem to have failed. Sin, death, and hell have been conquered. The world is yours. I am yours. Be the king of my heart. I surrender myself to your holy will. May your kingdom come. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Concluding Prayer Heavenly Father, we have contemplated your Son, Jesus, on his way of the cross, in his Spirit which you have gifted to us. We accept our way of the cross. We know it will lead us to, where it led him to, our resurrection with him. We thank you for the joy of this vision of faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh.